everybody, Rose Mutter here, and welcome to my reaction and discussion video for episodes 13 and 14 of the Death Note anime. So we last left off with the introduction of a new character, one that is uh, seems to be pretty divisive uh, among you guys um, based on the comments from the last episodes, and that is Misa, who seems to be kind of like a Kira fangirl who uh, has a Death Note of her own and is um, kind of like calling herself like the second Kira and is helping him out in a way and it was discovered that a uh, another Shinigami gave up his life to save her life. He fell in love with her and his death note was given to her and she is using it to continue on Kira's quest for a perfect world but she's definitely uh let's say she's not as smart as as Light is. <laughs> she immediately um, blabbed to the world about uh, Shinigami and about the eyes, I believe. Like, she talked about the eyes. And uh, so she does. She did take the deal for the Shinigami eyes, and that is how she was able to kill people seemingly without their name, uh, unlike, unlike Light. So it's causing a little bit of a problem for Light because he had his whole plan, and now uh, Misa has just been kind of thrown into the mix and she's just a lot more willy-nilly about it. She's not as secretive about it and she could potentially ruin his plans. But I imagine Light is going to find a way to figure out who the second Kira is and bring her into the fold and manipulate her since she already is such a big fan of Kira. I see her probably falling in love with him, becoming obsessed with him, and he uses her for, uh, you know, his own advantage. So that's the way I see things going. But right now he doesn't know who the second Kira is. And uh, L is also surprised about the second Kira. He knows it's a second Kira. It's not just the original one um, killing off these random people. So it should be interesting. Uh, Misa's a little bit of a wild card thrown into the mix. And it'll be fun to see kind of how she adds to the dynamic between Light and, uh, and L. So I'm very excited to get into these episodes and see what is going to happen next and what what uh, other issues she's potentially going to cause for, for Light. So without further ado, let's get into it, and I will give you guys my thoughts afterwards. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that too, but now Light is officially part of the investigation now. That's that's a pretty big thing. So it's like Light and Al are even closer to each other, pretending to be like colleagues, but still suspicious of each other. Confirmed her Shinigami at the dome. Okay. My friend and I showed off our notebooks in Aoma. Wait, what? Okay. That means that they wouldn't be able to see each other's lifelines. My friend and I showed off our notebooks in Ioma. Okay. And there's thing about the notebook. I can't remember if that was uh, the Shinigami thing was mentioned. I don't know if a notebook was mentioned during that broadcast. <laughs> it's so stupid, it's brilliant! <laughs> there you go, you just have a plan so dumb that they don't even know how to deal with it. So 
I wonder if Misa really is that dumb or if she has like some brilliant secret motive to this. Yeah, because they have, like, Light is the fake Kira, right? But he's actually the real Kira. <laughs> like they did, I was like, the person can't possibly be this stupid. There must be a secret message within this. Oh my gosh, of course. I can't tell if that was the right thing for him to say or not. God, he's so, so creepy. Oh, jeez. Ooh, I wonder if he's going to be like, hey, look, keep an eye out for light. Hey! Hey. Oh, oh, is he going to straight up say, like, I'm suspicious of him? I mean, they knew that. He said straight up he was suspicious of Light. Once again, I have a feeling that that poor young cop's going to end up dying at some point. Light will just see him maybe as, like, a, you know, casualty, a necessary... <laughs> hotel <laughs> oh we're gonna have the two shinigami talk to each other okay interesting all right
Hmm, well, look at that. It's actually... Well, 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 maybe I underestimated Misa. Just like everybody else seems to. I wonder if this is the moment here where uh, he'll actually meet with Misa. Yeah, that's the problem. Is like if Misa sees, uh, I mean, I guess the whole thing about the Shinigami is they're not going to tell the person that they saw another Shinigami. But if Misa knows, <laughs> probably more of like his, uh, like his fan group. But yeah, like if Misa could see that Light has a Shinigami, she's not going to be subtle about it. I don't imagine, or maybe she would. She's like, I don't want to give away your, uh, you know, we'll work together. We'll be secretive about it. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, they won't know which one. That's oh, smart. I should have known, of course. Of course you'd have a alternative reason for it oh wait who's this girl wait who are you what wait is that misa with a that's got to be her with a wig right <laughs> all right forgot about that so of course she'd be able to spot him does he know? He he must know about the whole about like the life uh the lifespans not being able to be seen above the person who has the Shinigami. And she's probably like, and he's cute. Bonus. Death Note will not affect those under 780 days old. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. You don't want a toddler to have a death note. It would be kind of useless. Death Note will be rendered useless if the victim's name is misspelled four times. Yeah, she's definitely going to be, like, in love with him. I mean, she kind of was even before she realized he was a cute boy around her age. Yep. <laughs> Imagine if it was like an old dude, she'd be like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be like a creepy stalker. Okay, let's see. Now that she's got this information about the real Kira, what is she going to say? He's got to be like, don't react, don't react. Oh, so that just narrowed it down. That just narrowed it down. So him going ended up kind of biting him in the ass. Oh, boy. Yeah, because Light could be like, well, I was with the, the other cop the whole time, and I didn't interact with anybody. So there goes his alibi.
Oh boy, this just got... Yeah, and then Ryuk's just loving this. <laughs> I'm sure Light will find a way to manipulate this to work out for him. Oh boy, she is just wow. Oh boy, oh boy. And then like they said about the girlfriend. Oh, you must be his girlfriend. And then they're, she's gonna be like, "Yes, I am." Oh, that just plays right into it. So he's just gonna play her off as his girlfriend, and that's why it's not. And it's not gonna be too suspicious, right? This will be interesting. The first meeting. That's code, right? Yeah, the code for the notebook, obviously. But he has to touch it, right? If he touches it, yep. Now you can see the Shinigami. Yeah, he's totally gonna play it off as like, yep, this is my girlfriend, and that's exactly what she wants. He's gonna manipulate her. And they'd probably just be like, oh, she's a little flashy for you. They probably were expecting someone a little bit more, I don't know, prim and proper looking? They're probably like, oh, that doesn't seem like his type. Okay, so he didn't- he didn't know that! Oh, okay. Ryuk gave so much information out, I couldn't remember what information he does and doesn't know. Okay, so she really is, like, offering herself up, like, tell me what to do. <gasps> oh, she is! She's offering herself up as just, like, let me help you. I mean, this seems too good to be true. He can literally just... Uh... <laughs> the idea... I called it. I called it. Like a crazy girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, it's just like, I can go undercover. Yeah, I was undercover, so we, yeah, we won't even, they couldn't possibly. He just really doesn't want her to be his girlfriend. <laughs> He's trying to let her down. Oh my gosh, well look at that, I gave... I guess I didn't give Misa enough credits. She did put some planning into it. Jesus. What kind of friend is she? Apparently not that good of a friend. <laughs> Oh, 
Jesus, wow. She has like no self-worth. This can't just be because she wants a boyfriend. <laughs> there must be more to this. Oh my gosh. She just fell right into his lap and was like, she could be a hindrance, but could be a big use. Oh, she's got nobody, right? So she just wants somebody. Oh, wow. Okay, that's what the connection. So he inevitably just... One of the criminals he killed just for his own use ended up being, like, helped her out. And all he's immediately just looking at her, not as a person, but just like, how can I use her? Yeah, he's like a sociopath. He literally just does see people as like, how can I use them to help me? He's going to put on that creepy, nice guy voice. I mean, but at the same time, he's saying straight up, he's not saying like, I will be your boyfriend, I, I love you. He is saying straight up like, I will use you. So he's not really being... You know, uh, oh, that's so creepy. Like, he's not being deceptive about what he's planning on doing. But he probably will kill her after. Once she serves her purpose, he'll just probably kill her off, tie up the loose ends, you know? I could definitely see that happening. So this is interesting, like, I mean, if he wanted to, he could get Elle's name quite quickly. She would just have to get close enough to him. And that would be that. I can't imagine it'd be that easy. That would look too suspicious if he just introduces Elle to like, hey, this is my girlfriend, and then Elle dies shortly after. Well, things just got very interesting. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I think that's the creep. The entire task force. And kill her after. I mean, I knew that was coming. Jesus. Yeah, of course she has to die, right? And it was like he said, she gave up literally half her life for him, and that's how he's going to repay her. So when, she when he says the entire HQ, does that include his dad? Because that would look real suspicious if his dad was the only one who managed to survive. I, she's not even surprised. I mean, I know she knows that Shinigami exists, but like, not, she's kind of cute. Aw, it says Ryuk. Aw. <laughs> oh, she's referring to herself in the third person. He's just like, ugh, God, this is going to be miserable. Do you think he'd be able to see inside to see the reaction that Misa had upon, like, when she stood up and she looked all excited? I don't know. Yeah. The dad's still a little resentful. Be like, after all this, you still... still suspect him, huh? He's keeping his eye, but I'm sure he's getting frustrated. And interesting thing people uh, said in the last episode, how his hair... I may have mentioned it, but his hair is getting whiter. Because he's just, you know, getting stressed out.
<laughs> I love Ryuki. He just looks like he's kind of in awe. <laughs> So, like I said, she is putting some thought into it. Oh, so saying, like, you can give this power to more people? Yeah. God, he just got very lucky with her. <laughs> I wonder if she'll get caught by the cops and because he still has her death note. Well, he has his death note. He knows her name. He would just kill her while she's in police custody. But then he also has to deal with her. Like, if he doesn't appease her, she could turn around on him. Well, actually, no. He, he has her note, death note, but... She'd be like, is he cute too? <laughs> Yeah, if he just shows up with some random girl and they know that there's a second Kira, yeah, that's going to look suspicious. Especially because, like, he's a pretty private person. Yeah. Well, she had the binoculars and she was able to look in, you know, and get people from there. So she just sees him from afar. That could work. Oh my god, what a Chad. What a Chad. He's just straight up, straight, straight up saying to her, like, this is how it's gonna go. Yep, already the possessiveness is taking care. He... <laughs> this, is, this is when you... This is what happens when you deal with a... A uh, unstable girl with powers. <laughs> but he's like, she could be an asset, but she could also really throw things into disarray if I don't appease her.
Oh shit, so he's like, I could just kill you, yep. Mmm. Ooh. I guess he's a little, a little possessive about her. Not possessive, but protective of her. Ho <laughs> ho Ooh, I like this. I like somebody's putting light in his place. Wow, I guess she just has that effect on Shinigami. That'd be two Shinigami willing to give their, their lives just for her. She's something special. At least she caught on, and she didn't insist on that. Okay, I thought they were going to be a little bit more like, oh, she has an interesting style of dress. Wow, I love that. He's just like... <laughs> He's just like, what have I gotten myself into? This has just become more of a headache than anything. Suicide is a valid cause of death. Basically, all humans are thought to possess the possibility to commit suicide. It's therefore not something unbelievable to think of. And the cause of the individual's death is either a suicide or accident. If the death leads to the death of more than the intended, the person will simply die of a heart attack. Is he actually going to Google that? <laughs> That would look suspicious, having that be in his search history. And I doubt Ryuk would have this- would think the same thing. He wouldn't be like, I will save- I will use my notebook to save you, Light. And she's, yeah, a f <laughs> She's a famous model. It just gets worse for him. I love it. I love that Light's just like, God damn it. <laughs> I still can't believe he said he was willing to take out the whole task force. I mean, if if Light or Ella isn't there, I don't imagine that they would have much luck finding, you know, Kira. Man, he really knows how to turn on the charm, doesn't he? Just, just what a what a sociopath.
Who is you? Who are you? You are you from the cops or something? I guess they did say they were going to keep a, a an eye on light. I mean, come on, that seemed pretty obvious, right? He must have had that on purpose to make Elle think that. Even me, like a stupid person, would would listen to that and think that they've met up, right? Exactly. Why would they suddenly stop being like, oh, stop trying to meet Kira? Light totally did this on purpose, worded it exactly that way. Right, exactly. That was too obvious. And Light also probably worded that way to put that suspicion off of him, because he knew Elle would think that way. Ugh. Stop. Ugh. God, stop doing that. <laughs> Ah, god damn it. I feel like I'm five steps behind everybody. They're too smart. I feel dumb. There's their little chess game again. They're just sussing each other out. Or are you? <laughs> What? Because you're what? Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Oh no. Oh, did it actually make him feel something in his heart? Oh, oh, <laughs> and it's so sad that I don't know. This might just be another thing Elle is saying to lower his defenses. But oh my gosh, if that's true, if he really does honestly think that way, that's so sad to know that like. Light probably just sees him as nothing more than an obstacle. Maybe Light deep down has some respect for him. I don't think he considers him a friend at all. I wonder, I don't think, I don't know if Elle said, I don't know if that was a real thing he said, but oh, I want to believe. Or maybe not, because that would be really sad. So much for being inconspicuous, Misa. Oh, jeez. And everybody's staring. He's like, well, shit, that caused a... Oh. Oh. 
He's just a playboy. And it'd be funny, even if Ryuk, what if Ryuk went over to her side and then she had two Shinigamis? <laughs> then she became, like, the most powerful person in the world. Oh, oh, you gonna kiss her? Ah, uh, so he's just going to intrinsically link them together, so... Oh, I mean, we knew that was coming. Oh my god, we tend to impersonate someone who has a notebook. Ah, okay. Interesting. Well, well, well. All right, he turned it around. And Rem knows. He knows that he's just using her. But he also wants her to be happy. Okay. Oh, shit. We still have so many episodes, though. It can't be that easy. There's no way. He's like, wait. I, yeah, even he's like, hmm. When he looks at how many episodes we have left, he's like, what? That seems too easy. It's been so difficult so far. It seems too good to be true, which means it probably is. Something's gonna happen. I would be flabbergasted if L died, especially like this early on into the anime. What? All right, so another great couple of episodes, a lot happening. Um, so I knew that Light was eventually going to use Misa um, for his own gain. I mean, just watching the OP, like you can see um, the symbolism of like her reaching out to him, him reaching out to her, like she's looking to him for something and uh he obviously being the person that he is we knew like would have no actual feelings towards her and just sees her as a means to an end as a tool to be used and it didn't help that she literally told him um you can use me for whatever you want uh you know the fact she literally gave up half of her life just to meet with him and then just immediately falling in love with him but it seems like it's a great thing on the surface, but then it comes with the complications of you have a girl who might not be completely stable and she can be a little volatile. Like, you know, her saying that she would kill any girls that um, Light has been seen with, and that itself would be suspicious, especially that the task force knows that the two Kiras have met up now. Um, so he has to try and keep her in check, but, uh, you know, that whole thing at the end where he is manipulating... Uh, Misa to get Rem, I believe is the Shinigami's name, uh, to uh, kill L. So I'm a little confused. I might have to go back and watch that end part again because I thought the Shinigami, they weren't able to, like, they weren't allowed to interfere directly with things. Like, they couldn't um, specifically, like, kill people themselves. Like, it had to be done through the Death Note. So I was a little confused about that, about why, like, Rem specifically is going to be the one to kill L. I know that Shinigami, they can know the names, um, like, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like, they they can see. They can see the names and the, the lifespan of people. Um, so, like, he'd be able to get the name easily enough, but I'm not quite sure, like, why he has to be the one specifically to kill. I know that um, the Light has both his and Misa's death note. So that part I might just have to go back and kind of watch again to see, like, okay, what did I miss there? 
But just the fact that he agreed so easily and even Light at the end was like, wait a minute, he's agreeing to this? Why is this so easy? This seems suspicious. And just little things throughout this episode of, you know, Light straight up saying that once he gets L's name, he will kill the entire task force. And I've been saying it since the beginning, ever since uh, Light started getting his powers and just killing people kind of without really any remorse. I was like, will he end up killing his own father if it means that it's going to throw somebody off the trail? Because, you know, uh, would he kill his own father if he were actually Kira? Or is he going to leave his father as the only one left alive? And that looks incredibly suspicious. But I could definitely see Light, if he feels the need to, he would kill his father. I absolutely believe that. So just the fact that he said that so casually and just without any hesitation and also the fact that he straight up was like upon meeting Misa uh, within a couple of minutes is just like well I gotta kill this girl I'm gonna use her to get light or L's information I will kill him and then I'll kill her once again just he's just a complete sociopath uh, but I mean that's not something we don't already know but I just like the fact now that they've met up I'm glad it happened so quickly with there being so many episodes I thought it was going to take some more time but I'm glad they've met up they definitely have an interesting dynamic um, it's a disturbing dynamic uh, poor Misa um, obviously she was broken by her parents being killed and then saw Kira as some sort of savior for um, killing the uh, the man that killed her her family and seeing it as like an act like a, a goodwill act even though literally he had no idea. He was just killing criminals just because he could for his own gain. Um, but <laughs> unexpectedly ended up like causing her to become obsessed with him through that act. So just kind of that butterfly effect, I guess. And oh, the, the whole moment with Elle saying that Light was his very first friend. I want to believe that's true. Like, I don't, I don't know if he was just saying that for some reason. Uh, if it was some sort of like psychological thing. I feel like he truly believes that Light and him are so similar and he's like, you know, because they're both geniuses, um, that he's kind of the only one who can be on the same level of L and like think like him because everybody else just cannot keep up with him. So he's kind of found like a kindred spirit and it's just sad if he truly believes that and Light does not feel that way at all. I don't think he's capable of having those kinds of like relationships. I just don't know if he can. But yeah, uh, really good episodes, <laughs> a lot of interesting, I really like Misa. Also, you know what, I have to say, maybe, okay, maybe I shouldn't say I like Misa. I like what she brings to the story. I find her a little bit annoying, but she's not as two-dimensional as I thought. Uh, she actually is smarter than I gave her credit for and everybody gave her credit for. We all just thought she was kind of a big dum-dum, uh, you know, the task force and, and L and Light. And she, it turns out that she actually put some thought into it and she's a little bit smarter than we thought, but obviously she's not all right in the head as well. And she's certainly not as smart as Light is. So yeah, it should just, it should be interesting to see how their dynamic is. And uh, he has to kind of like keep her, you know, uh, like what's the word I'm thinking of? He's got to keep her happy. He's got to have Rem be happy with her being happy being with him but he also can't kill her because then Rem will kill him that was another thing I really liked was Rem just straight up saying like if you kill her I will kill you without hesitation that was just a nice way to be like it's not going to be quite so easy to get rid of Misa so he has to kind of play it got to play it like smoothly you know because unfortunately he's stuck with her for as long as her natural lifespan is but i'm sure he's gonna f maybe figure out a way to kind of manipulate that and get rid of misa once he has what he wants so the big question is will it be this simple to kill l will he go down less than halfway through this you know the series or is there going to be some other complication that has not come up yet because uh ryuk seems to not even be aware of some of the rules of the shinigami even he seems surprised about some of the stuff so i think that's enough for me uh if there's anything you guys thought i missed i can leave that down below of course as long as it doesn't uh, contain spoilers um i really enjoyed these loving the series so far i'm just liking it more and more as it goes on and i can't wait to see uh what misa and lights are going to have planned out. Um, I really hope Elle will stick it out. I don't know if he's going to survive the whole thing, but I hope he's not going to go down quite this soon, because uh, then what's going to happen afterwards? It's just going to be like the the Light and Misa story. And also, who is this dude that's following 
uh, light around. I don't know if he's a character that's been introduced yet. He's someone maybe to keep an eye out for. So anyway, really enjoyed these episodes. I hope you guys did enjoy my reaction and discussion for these episodes. And stay tuned next week for episodes 15 and 16. Until then, bye guys.